Hello again, Investing Putts back with you. Um, it's been a while since I recorded a video, and the reason re, the reason is I was redoing my uh, renovating my office. Um, if you remember, the office had um, really old wallpaper and actually some really nasty carpet. So we got some new carpet, and I went and textured over the wallpaper, and then painted it, um, both the walls and the ceilings, and it's a it's a vaulted ceiling, so kind of a kind of a pain. Um, I was up on a ladder a good bit of the time. Anyway, so I haven't disappeared. But uh, if you remember my previous video, an Uber driver recommended that I buy Sunrun, which is a money losing solar panel company. Um, I took a look at the chart and decided that the stock was still in a medium term um, downward trend. So I entered a bearish trade. On June fifteenth, I purchased a deep in the money. $60 strike put and then sold at the money puts against the long put. This is known as the poor man's covered put. Uh, the long put was about a minus 70 delta, while the short puts were plus 50 delta, giving a net minus 20 delta position. So by comparison, if I just sold shares short, that would be a hundred minus 100 delta position. Uh, if you had long a long position of 100 shares, that would be a plus 100 delta position. So the poor man's covered put is a, uh, a highly hedged uh, bearish bet. And you control the, uh, the amount of hedging by the muddiness of the, um, um, long, of the long put and the muddiness of the uh, short puts that you sell against it. So literally the next day, the stock went against my bearish bet in a big way. Um, over the next two weeks, on June uh, 29th, the stock peaked at about $57 a share, so up about 33% from the $43 where I entered the poor man's covered put. So in the short term, the Uber, Uber driver was definitely right, and I was wrong. Um, though the 50-day moving average is still below the 200-day moving average, so in a long-term sense, it's still in kind of a, kind of a bearish trend. Um, so you might think that I took a bath on this trade, but let's look at the uh, P&L. I exited the trade when the stock peaked on June 29th. So the blue curve is the share price, up about 33% in two weeks. The long put is the uh, value of, of the is the orange curve. Um, you can see that it was down by about 40%. Uh, my position is the red curve that looks like a sawtooth. My P&L rises each time that I sell a put. Um, so net-net, I was only down a little more than 10%. I think this pretty nicely illustrates the power of the poor man's covered call and input. Uh, you're making a directional bet, but you're hedging that bet by selling options against the long leg. Um, in my case, I wasn't willing to make a strong directional bet, so I, set, I sold uh, at the money puts, or you know, uh, 50 delta puts, against my long put. It's impressive that the hedging can protect you against a huge move against your long option. So this shows my uh, trading spreadsheet for Sunrun. I've highlighted the premiums collected by selling puts against my long put. Notice that the premiums uh, are pretty large, 4 to 7% of the share price. So as the share price spiked, uh, implied volatility increase, so my premiums got better and better. In total, I collected $12.70 in premiums over two weeks by selling options. I buy back the short options when they lose about 50% of their value. So roughly speaking, when I sell the put, it has a uh, plus 50 delta. When I buy it back, it has about a plus 25 delta. So in total, I spent $7 buying back the short options. The value of my long put, which I call a uh, synthetic short stock, fell from $19.45 to $11.09 as the stock moved against me. So that's a loss of $8.36. So to summarize, I took in $12.70 in premium from selling puts and paid $7 to buy them back. And I lost $8.36 on the long put. So my net was uh, minus $2.66, or a loss of 13.7%. The value of the long put fell by 
but I was able to hedge two-thirds of that loss by trading the poor man's covered put. Conversely, when the shares go in your direction, I find that my poor man's covered put or, or call position is usually able to keep up with the long put or call unless the move is very uh, large and very abrupt. So I hope this video helped you understand how the poor man's covered uh, put or call plays out when the shares go against your directional bet. Um, and I hope it illustrates why I, why I like the, uh, the strategy. It lets me take uh, directional bets and uh, you know, and typically I'm, I'm taking a, a bullish bet, but I'm always hedging that bet and I control uh, very closely control the, uh, the amount of hedging. Uh, if I think a stock is undervalued or overvalued, um, I can adjust the, the delta of the short, uh, short put or call as I, as I wish. So until next video, uh, see you later.